Good morning, Hilford Park. Welcome back. Please stand for the pe pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Good morning. Hope your break was awesome. Um, we're glad to be back. Listen, I've got a couple of announcements. One is for sixth grade choir students. Uh, you're probably figuring this out already uh, by the time you uh, see this, but sixth grade choir has moved to second period. So if you're a sixth grade choir student, uh, your first period is going to be one of the other uh, finer practical arts classes. Choir is second period. So Mr. DeKemper has all that information. You go there first period, he can tell you where you're supposed to go for first, you'll see him at second, okay? Seventh grade, orchestra students. All seventh grade orchestra students have orchestra during sixth period now. They've combined those classes. So if you already had orchestra sixth period, you still have orchestra sixth period. If you're a seventh grader and you had orchestra fourth period, it's now your sixth period class, okay? So you have a different, um, Fine or practical arts class during fourth, so you'll need to check RDS and see where you should be going uh, for your fourth period. Okay, um, some seventh graders now have a music class with Mr. Strasick. Okay, kiddos are looking at their schedule and they're seeing they're saying I'm not in orchestra because they see Mr. Strasick's name there. He is teaching a music class just like Mr. DeKemper teaches music, so it is correct if you see Mr. Strasick as your uh, fourth period teacher. Um, and it's a music class that you would go to for him, okay? So I just wanted to clarify that. If you have questions, let us know, um, and have a great day. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday, January 7th at the park. No birthdays today. We are on a win schedule this week. Many of you will have a new homeroom teacher, so be sure to check your RDS to find out. Congratulations to our Pumas of the Week. Sixth grade Nate Andrews and Juliana Franklin 7th grade Bryce Johnson and Brianna Fitzgerald, 8th grade Miranda Smith and Elijah Fletcher. Come, please come to the office for a quick picture after announcements. Girls eat first this week. Archery club will start next week, January 14th. See Mrs. Red or Mr. Combs for a permission slip that must be signed and returned before you may attend. There will be no guitar club today. We will start again next Tuesday. After school, choir is open to every student and we'll meet Mondays after school from 2.30 to 4, starting January 13th. Attention 8th grade, student council applications are available outside Ms. Wright's room. They are due back to Ms. Wright no later than Wednesday, February 12th. FCA will meet this Wednesday tomorrow in Mr. DeCamper's room. Hubbard Park sweatshirts are $15 each and are available in the office. Weightlifting club starts next week. See Mr. Purvis for details. Hockey will resume next week, January 13th. Wrestling Elementary Middle School signups to your daily post. There will be Thursday, January 9th from 6 to 7.15 at the Rice Gym entrance. If you have any questions, contact the office. After school today, we have 6th grade basketball until 4 and 7th grade boys basketball and band help session until 5. Lunch today is chicken patty, sandwich, or burrito. Be strong. Be proud. Let's hear your Have a primitive day. day.